Welcome back, everybody. Time to continue on in our playthrough as Tipton Town, hoping to take them to the top of the English football pyramid. And at the current moment, we are in the home stretch of our very first season in the uh, West Midlands Regional League Division One. And just to take a look at the situation as it currently sits, we are 19 matches in. There are just nine left in this season. We're going to try to get through the rest of the season here in today's episode. If you didn't see the uh, previous episodes, there's a link in the description below that will take you all the way back. And please, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment on this video. Those will all help tremendously in helping this brand new channel of mine to grow. Uh, we have a match coming up against Team Dudley, and we're going to watch that one because it might determine uh, whether or not we are in prime position to be able to be promoted at the end of this season. The top two teams are going to be promoted, and right now it's Tipton Town and Team Dudley, so that matchup is going to be key. You can see we've got a 23-goal differential now. And just looking at the schedule, just to show you, uh, the last three, four matches now, we've only given up one goal. And in the, that same time period, we've scored 11. So it's been a nice stretch ever since that terrible loss to Gornal Colts. So things have gone much, much better as of late. And uh, we've got this home stretch coming up here. And we're going to finish the season with a rematch against those Gornal Colts. But in the meantime, as we prepare, uh, twice now in the last couple of weeks, Chris Gagan has... Uh, skipped training and then accepted the fine. He's not a guy who's particularly valuable to the team at this point. So honestly, just for the sake of the team, I believe at this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and just let him go. Uh, there's not really any reason to continue to keep him here, especially with this big matchup coming uh, against Team Dudley. So let's go ahead and advance and see what happens. Okay, so here we are looking at the situation going into this. We've sold 82 tickets for the match over at Priory Road in Dudley. Cool thing about this, these are not only first and second place teams battling it out for the top of the West Midlands Regional League Division One. They're also neighbors. These stadiums are only about three miles apart from each other. So uh, definitely kind of a hometown crosstown rivalry going on here. We are the favorites going in. And we did win the previous matchup of these two teams. So this will be our final time going up against them. Uh, we have been strengthening the team. Uh, we did add, uh, you can see here, Simon Heslop is new. This is going to be his very first match uh, as a member of uh, the Tipton Town team. And uh, you can see he's a good fit. Uh, he's rated highly. He should definitely add some strength to our center midfield. Uh, we also added, uh, let's see if we can find him here. He is Wes Fletcher. Uh, he's going he's gonna to be on the bench to start, but he is definitely going to give us some further depth as a striker. Uh, so, you know, as I said at the beginning of this season, uh, the whole point was to just add as many players as possible, uh, knowing that they don't cost anything. Uh, so there's really no no downside uh, except that you know you might mess with team chemistry and i think we're pretty content with the team we've got at this point so let's see if we can, if we can win this match we are in the driver's seat to get promotion at the end of the season so this is absolutely going to be key i have turned off the sound i mentioned that in the last episode just because uh i know the sound had gotten kind of difficult uh because it was kind of loud and it's not always easy to balance those things. So here we go. Oh, yes. I thought it was going to go off the post, but it bounced in. Chakwana with his third goal of the season. Fantastic shot. That was beautiful. Let's go ahead and watch that one one time. It starts all the way back with the defense with a beautiful shot up there. Walker, who's our big scorer, is the one who drops that one off to Chakwana from right at the top of the box, and he bounces it in. Nice. Our first shot is a goal. How far into the match was that? That was only a minute and 10 seconds in. Lovely, lovely. Nice way to start out the big key matchup. All right, this could be dangerous here. Clear it out there, guys. Oh, he's got a, he's got a shot. All right, he's he, he didn't. He, oh, off the crossbar! Wow, could have equalized right at the eighth minute. Oh, here we go again. No, okay. Sorry for yelling in your ears, folks. So they are getting some shots. They're making some making some moves here. Now they've got a corner kick. Oh, wow. This is really going our way so far. 
Here's a chance. Chaquana, get it down there. Let's get it crossed over in. Nice. Nice. Oh, just a little too far over. So no yellows so far. They do have an injury to their goalkeeper, which surprisingly they're keeping him in. I don't know how that's going to affect things, but it's been a really clean match so far. You're not used to seeing this, especially uh, at this level. Yeah, you can see the goalkeeper. He's Well, he, he did clear it out to midfield. Yeah, I don't like how much they're, uh, they're controlling things right now. There we go. Nice job, Spencer. Come on, Craig. Clear it up. Get it up there. Go right. Go to the right side. Ah, uh, Chaquano's over there. Oh, yes. That's going to be an easy goal for Wilson. Just tap it in, baby. Nice job. The assist from Simon Heslop, our new center midfielder. I want to take a look at that again, but I think Heslop was the one that took the initial shot that was deflected. Yeah, so Craig gets it to Heslop. He takes a shot from the top. And Wilson just taps it in. Looking good. We we seem to be firmly in control now. It's been a pretty even match in the field. Oh, another one off the crossbar right here at the end of the, of the first half. They're going to have one last shot here before halftime. You can see the one person standing in the stands over there. I thought we had about 80 people at this game. It doesn't look like there's that many watching. All right. So there you have the stats at halftime. So far, so good. I'm feeling really good about our chances for promotion if we can hold on to victory in this one. So Chaquana gets a yellow card, so it's not a clean match anymore. Clear that out, boys. Oh, oh, oh. You can't say Dudley hasn't had their chances in this match. They have definitely had more than their fair share. Gonna drop it back to the keeper, the injured keeper who remains in the match. They may not have anybody else, really. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I was hoping to get control. We might be making some subs here soon just to get some fresh legs in there. We've got some depth on the team now that we didn't have before. Maybe we'll bring in Wes Fletcher and give him his first chance to see what he can do up front. All right, let's see what happens here first. We're going to have a nice chance for a cross, see if we can get something happening over there in the box. Nice. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, Wes Fletcher, he's not really in great match shape, but we're going to give him an opportunity here. We'll bring him in for Craig. Um, let's go ahead and bring Musendo in. I'm going to bring him in for Heslop, who's, uh, you know, first match, it wasn't really match condition. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, nice defense. It didn't seem like Spencer actively defended that. It just kind of, he happened to be in the way. There we go. Nice job, defense. We've had luck and some good bounces on our side in this one. So it's our uh, right side midfielders that got the two goals in this one so far. They're bringing in a, uh, some fresh legs on the defense. Here's another chance for them. Boy, they've definitely had their chances. Punch that out of there. Nice. Guess he didn't get his hands on it. A lot of fouls now, but I think we've got this one. Just a couple of minutes left. Oh, man, I'm so glad this went well. I was a little nervous about this one. Man, they've had their chances. They've had a lot of chances. Got to give credit to the boys, especially the def defense and the goal. Nice job. All right, so things are, are looking really good now. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, how things are looking. So here's just a review of uh, what we've done. 20 games into life with Tipton Town. And it's safe to say that Gamer Dad has wasted little time in bringing fresh faces to uh, Tipton Sports Academy. The talented head coach has signed 60 players for a combined total of $500, including penniless Coles Hills young center back, 
Chris Tanner. There's generally a positive reaction to Dad's tactical approach of late, and there's plenty of optimism for the future. A strong early season form has seen some experts label them surprise promotion contenders as the club climbed as high as first in the table. Let's go ahead and take a look now. So there you have it. Uh, granted that Gornal has another match to play here, but once they let's say they win, uh, that's still. And then w w Worley, uh, let's say they win both of theirs, that would put them up as high as uh, 38 points. So we've still uh, best worst case scenario. We've still got a, a little bit of a comfortable lead with uh, eight matches left to go. So let's see what happens. So here's the situation at the uh, current time. It is February 8th of 2020. We are getting ready to go into another battle against a top team, and that is against Gornal, who's currently sitting in third place. But honestly, if they won their next match, they would be tied for second. Uh, you know, things aren't quite as even as they are in some of the other leagues as far as teams all playing at the same time so that things stay where they are. So uh, this is a key match going up against Gornal. We'll look if, if there's any big highlights, anything important to see, we will certainly show that. I want to take a look real quick at a couple of other things. In particular, I want to look at the player statistics and just kind of see where some of our top players are stacking up. Player of the match, Cameron Walker has won five times, which leads the league. Uh, Chakwana, who is uh, one of our more recent additions, has also won th uh, three player of the match awards. Uh, Cameron Walker also is among the highest in offside, but hey, he's aggressive. I don't mind that. He's got a great average rating, 7.47. Only Gornal's uh, Aiden Gillett is higher than that. So we're going to see one of the best players in the league uh, in this matchup against uh, Gornal. Now, games one, obviously, we are at the top because we're in first place in that way. Uh, Cameron Walker also among the league leaders in shots. Uh, and then penalty save, of course, Phil Smith has only faced one the entire season, and he stopped it. So we're excited about that. So we're going to dive into this match against Gornal, and we're going to see what happens. Oh, man. So right off the bat, two minutes into the match against one of our top competitors, and Giverin puts one in on the free kick from just outside the box. Check out this beautiful shot right up in the top right corner. That's outstanding. And right away, we take the lead. Folks, this is insane. Once again, it's Giver, and this time on the big assist on a free kick. So take a look at this one as Giver gets a free kick up near the middle of the field, and he puts it perfectly in position. The goal goes to the exact same spot. First goal of the season for Edward Wagner. Uh, that's one of our defenders there, our center-right defender, who gets the goal on the free kick. Already, Gornal's got two yellow cards, and they seem frustrated at how things have gone early in this match. Wow, not even a minute later. So there I am predicting that Gornal is frustrated and getting their head out of the game and watch how they come back in the 18th minute with a really nice strike. They just take their time. They're patient and way out on top. Boy, that had to have been, what, 35, 40 yards out? My goodness, that was outstanding. Cameron Walker with his 16th goal in just 22 matches this year in the league. And this was set up by some nice play. Uh, in the 38th minute, watch this. Chaquana heads it right over to Craig, who gets it clear of his defender and just has a nice little pass to Walker, who taps it in for the score. It's now 3-1, to one, and we're not even to halftime yet. So there you have it. Cameron Walker picked up a uh, second goal in the early second half in the 47th minute. Ended up 4-1 to one the final. Gornal had a goal late that was disallowed because of offside, and we should now be in firm control of the league and in prime position to be able to gain that promotion that we're seeking in just a few more matches. So I think it's time for another purge as we enter the home stretch. We've currently got eight players at the club who are unhappy, uh, so there's really no reason to keep them around. Most of them are, are unhappy because I've since signed better players that uh, have taken those positions and yeah, they just don't really have any reason to continue to be a part of the team. So we'll probably go ahead and go in and start clearing out some of these guys on uh, John Kiriakou, Russell Mountain, Chris Shooker, uh, Tom Williams. Phil Smith has actually uh, been one of the more important players on the defense. But, uh, yeah, he just doesn't really have a place now with where things stand. He's 40 years old. He's our backup goalkeeper. He's still pretty decent. 
Um, you know, but McCulloch is the guy now. So, but I think Phil Smith we're getting on to. Um, we'll just probably clear out some of the others. Well, we're in the middle of this match against Ren's Nest, who is a lower team, and and honestly, I should be beating them better. But it's zero zero, and in the seventy eighth minute, we have a penalty kick, and so Wes Fletcher is going to step up and hopefully give us the lead. And there it is. Oh, bailing us out from what has been a really uh, just less than stellar performance by our team against a team that we should be beating much more than this. We've got seven shots to just one for them. They've committed 18 fouls to our eight. I mean, everything's going in our favor, but uh, unfortunately things are just not, not materializing in this, in this matchup, but it looks like we're going to be okay. All right. So we did escape out with that one, nothing win. Unfortunately, right near the end of the match, George Wilson picked up a red card uh, that's unfortunate for a couple of reasons. Number one, he's our best player. Uh, but number two, that means he was probably going to be suspended for the next match. Uh, and that might be a more important match than this one was, because it's going to be against Bromyard Town, which is sixth right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the standings and see where we are going into that match. Yep, so as expected, Wilson suspended for one match. We did get our eighth straight uh, victory out of that and you can see in that stretch only two goals allowed going all the way back into December 28th so uh, looking at the competitions now uh, you can see here but we remain seven points up on team Dudley 32 goal differential now uh, so things are looking really good we've only got let's see just five matches remaining now looking at the schedule of what lies ahead uh, you can see here we've got Bumyard, we've got All Scott Heath, and then we've got the really big one right there against Worley, and then Droitwich Spa and Gornal Colts. All right, well, another victory this time uh, over Bromyard, and they had not one but two players sent off for red cards, one in the 62nd minute, the other in the 79th minute. But uh, of particular note here was who our player of the match was, and that was Chris Parr. He's our 22-year-old center back. The center back had a goal and an assist for a uh, 9 rating. Uh, he won 90% of his headers at 10 of them. Key headers, 4. Incredible match for par. So we're pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the updated standings now. And with four matches left to go, we now have still a seven-point a seven point lead over Team Dudley. But now we've opened up a 17-point lead over third place Gornal. So we're getting pretty close to where we can say that we've locked up promotion. I think probably two more wins ought to do it. So I thought this would be a good time as well to re-evaluate the possibilities of getting a senior affiliate. That, as we move up, is going to really help us to um, get some extra income, but also to help um, provide us with loan players uh, at a relatively inexpensive cost that could help us as well. So last time it was denied, we couldn't find anybody who was willing to take us on as an affiliate. We're going to see if maybe now that has changed. If not, we may have to wait into next season when we've moved up to the West Midlands Premier League to do that. Well, once again, after meeting the club directors, they've agreed in principle to the club forming links, but after an extensive search, they've been unable to find a suitable club to form a link with. So I guess we're just going to have to move up a little higher uh, in the football world before that's going to be an option for us. So uh, we're still watching. Gornal hasn't played their 24th match yet. Worley hasn't played their 23rd or 24th matches yet. So even if they won both of those, that would only get them up to 43. Uh, so it looks at like as of now, uh, Gornal would, would get to 41 if they won their next match. So we've, we're 14 points clear of the uh, position we need to worry about. With four matches to go, uh, we're already there. I mean, we should have already clinched promotion if I'm doing my math right. Uh, so I guess they haven't said that yet, but I believe that's got to be the case. Let's see what happens after our match against All Scott Heath. If you're curious about what's going on in the rest of the world here, I mean, you can see Man City, uh, four-point lead over Tottenham and Man United, and uh, Chelsea uh, rounding out the top four right now. Those are the ones that are headed for Champions League play if it stays that way. Of course, Liverpool hasn't played their next match yet. Uh, Fulham and Huddersfield up top in the Skybet Championship. West Brom, my team, right there, tied for second, but sitting in third place right now. 
And uh, so that's looking pretty good there. Uh, just looking ahead at our upcoming schedule. These are the matches. Look at that. The beautiful streak we have going on here. Again, we've only given up two goals going all the way back uh, to that debacle in December of 2019. All Scott, he's up next. And then we've got the big three here to wrap up the season. All right, well, we have uh, two weekends off in a row, which I guess is when the other teams are catching up with their games. And it apparently is the result of one of those matches that has led to promotion being official. Tipton Town fans are jubilant mood after Gamer Dad led them to the incredible feat of promotion from the West Midlands Regional League Division One. Fan spokesman announced that Dad was undoubtedly one of the best head coaches around. Thank you, that's so kind and are desperately hoping that he stays with the club for years to come. Tipton Town favored Wes Cox has declared he had not expected the club to be promoted this season. Was pleasantly surprised to see, see the feat was achieved. So you can see that everybody on the team is happy because a lot of them joined the team on the promise that we were going to do just that. And so we passed a year early uh, the promotion vision objective which was set for the end of next season so that's great news let's go ahead and take a look at the updated competition standings you can see there i've got a six point lead over team dudley who has already played their 25th match but more importantly a 14 point lead over gornell for the next place in the line so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up right here. I did promise we would go to the end of the season, but we've achieved the goal for the end of the season, which is promotion. So we'll come back with the next episode in a few days where we will handle uh, all of the off season as we prepare to enter the West Midlands uh, Premier League. So that'll be exciting. It'll be definitely time for some upgrades. I would love to hear your thoughts. Use the comment section below, and we'll come back with another episode. Thanks for watching.